Hello, you are welcome how to solve this nice algebra equation from here. We have x cubed minus s squared equals to 18. And then we can write this as s cubed minus x squared. Then take 18 here, we have minus 18 equals to 0. Then from here, we have a cubic equation from here. And then we can get one of the factor that is we can no we can get one of the roots of this polynomial by looking at the factors of 18 we have 1 times 18 or we have 2 times 9 or we have 3 times 6 so now what let's substitute 1 for to see if this will be equal to zero the one that will equals to zero is definitely a root so we have for x equals to one we have one cube minus one square minus 18 of course this is t1 minus one minus 18 is this one equal to zero no this is minus 18 so yeah it means one is not a root now, for x equals to 2, we have 2 cube minus 2 square minus 18. And from here, this is just 8 minus 4 minus 18. Of course, this is 4 minus 18, which is minus 14. It is not, you know, true as well. So, 2 is not a root. Then for x equals to 3, this will be 3 raised to power 3. That 3 cube minus 3 square minus 18. 3 cube here is the same thing as 27. Then we have 3 square minus 9. Then minus 18. Is this equal to 0? 27 minus 9. That's 18. Then minus 18. That's 0. So here yeah, it implies that x equals to 3 that this 3 is a root then x minus 3 will be a factor of this polynomial so in order to get the other factors which will be a quadratic we can use any method of our choice from x square s key minus x square minus 18 equals to 0 we can use long division method from here or we can use synthetic method from here when we use synthetic method we use 3 now to divide this polynomial the coefficient here are 1 minus 1 for the power of you know 2 then for the power of 1 there's nothing for that that's 0 then for constant that's minus 18 then this is how we divide for synthetic. We drop this one. Then 3 times 1, that's 3. We sum this one. Minus 1 plus 3, that's 2. We multiply again. 3 times 2, that's 6. We sum it, that's 6. 3 times 6, that's 18. We sum here, that's 0. So the remainder here confirms that 3 is definitely a root of this polynomial. Then, this number should be the coefficient of the quadratic equation we are expecting. So we have x squared now, coefficient is 1 plus 2x, then plus 6 as the other factor. Then we can say this is x minus 3 times this. We give us the polynomial which is equal to 0. Then from here, we have two possible cases here. We have x minus 3 equals to 0. Or we have x squared plus 2x plus 6 equals to 0. On this side, we have x to be equals to 3 from here. Then on this side, we use quadratic formula. Here, a is equals to 1 b is equals to 2 and c equals to 6 
then we have x equals to minus b that's minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square minus 4 ac then over 2a that's 2 times 1 then when we solve this we have minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 24 over 2 then here we have x equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 20 over 2 then from here square root of minus 20 is same thing as root 4 times 5 times minus 1 then root 4 here is 2, that's 2 root 5. Then root minus 1 is r. So here we can replace this as 2 root 5 r. This becomes x equals to minus 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 r over 2. Then these two can divide these two and these two. Then we can write this as x equals to minus 1 plus or minus root 5i so here we have two complex solutions and we have one real solution from here so this are the solutions to this given problem we can check to confirm if this satisfy the given problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps Subscribe for more exciting videos, turn on the notification bell, share this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, put your comments in the comment section. See you in the next class and bye for now.